Hello. I'm Atsubo George and I'm here with my beautiful wife. Gloria George. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we are so excited today to be bringing God's truth to, to you. you. Now, now we know today is Friday. Praise God. Hey, listen. What you do with your weekends, part of the important things you should do is sit down and listen to this message from Monday, Monday. all the way to Friday. Friday. And get blessed again. Even if you listen to it before, now that's what the word of God is. You, you, I mean, I assure you, go listen to it, you hear what you didn't hear before. before. Sure. And that's how you keep taking in the word and taking in the word and taking in the word and it's building you. Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. Before going to today's broadcast, I want us to make demands for our daily bread. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Join us right now as we declare, say, Father, Father, I receive right now. I receive right now. My daily bread my daily bread and i receive and i receive all i need all i need till monday till monday in the name of the lord in the jesus. name of the lord jesus angels go angels go bring to me bring to me that which god has released that me. which god has released in for me jesus in jesus name amen, amen. praise god hallelujah i trust you and enjoy this if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and put on the notification button so mm. that every morning when this message drops, you will be notified. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. And thank you for your comments. Thank you for your questions. Now, we will attend to every question anybody has asked. Sometimes in our teaching, we'll just address it. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. <laughs> praise the lord yeah so we've talked about um being god being your source that's what we talked about yesterday that's very important because one of the things that destroy marriages is financial issues yes pressure financial pressure yeah and it will surely come no matter how much you have there are certain times that that pressure will come as long as we're in the world. It comes in different levels. Yes, in different levels. So you you have to have that established relationship that Jesus is taking care of you. You are God's child mm -hmm. as a man and you are also God's child as a woman. So when these pressures arise, you know what to do as a couple. You're not throwing all the blame on the husband. The husband is not throwing all the blame on the wife. And then the family starts having different challenges here and there. Because money is something that as a couple, you should sit down and settle. That it will not be a problem in your marriage. And not just say, look, money will not be a yeah. problem in our marriage. I was just going to say <laughs> that. And you have to do it by the word. You cannot remove the 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 fatherhood of oh, god, god in your marriage and then put it on your job or whatever it is that you do or whatever office that you you know occupy praise the lord because see people lose their jobs yeah and they lose, challenges of life will they, come they lose their jobs mm -hmm. and the next thing is they're about to lose their marriage mm. why because mm. they feel unworthy they yeah. feel I can I can provide anymore mm. it wasn't your job that was supplying the food mm -mm. Because David said, God gives blessings to his beloved in, in sleep. sleep. It means even if they do nothing, mm. God gives them blessings. Exactly. Now, you remember, we we were talking about how um, it, uh, a few, two days ago, so we okay. talked about honoring the Lord. Mm -hmm. And because we're, we're telling about the journey, yes. how we got married. Yes. And we, mm -hmm. how we decided to honor God, mm -hmm. and God saw to it that everything went well on that day. <laughs> Before that day, things were going so smoothly. I, I think I asked you a question. Then I was like, "Oh yeah, <laughs> things are so, <laughs> things are happening so fast. I'm scared." <laughs> Wait, the way things are happening, I hope Satan is not, like not we are giving Satan away from you. So you're like, okay, I can't fight you guys. Let me go and wait. You know, in the marriage. I mean, I saw that in your eyes. I saw like, I hope this is not a setup. Seriously, <laughs> you know, seriously. Everything began, at some point, everything began to move so smoothly. Mm. We, we walk from here to here, we see provision. Exactly. We walk from, without stress, without, I mean, God was just sorting out as though, but that's the truth, like we were being guided by the hand. Yes. And then, my wife then said, 
<laughs> the way things are happening so smoothly, I hope. Because you know, you know this belief that Satan will attack you. We couldn't find Satan. Or maybe there should just be some trouble on the way. <laughs> we, we couldn't find Satan mm. in that journey. Now, the reason is because they were following. we have taken enough time mm. to seek the mind of God. Of God. And we're following his instructions. So all the challenges we have had on the way, mm. we have taken time out before them mm. to find our straight path. Now, that's, 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 it's just like when people build uh, fabrication buildings. Mm. <clears throat> now, they say start the project. He's not in, on site. Mm. He goes to site, he clears the ground and everything, and then you don't see him again. And you're wondering, where is this guy? Where is he? He doesn't come to site. He doesn't come to site. He the others are building, putting, bringing cement, bringing mm. blocks, and doing stuff and doing stuff. And then you're, where is this guy? He just cleared this place and left it. Then, one day, you go to site after two days mm. and you see a house now. <laughs> what happened there? What kind of magic is this? It's not magic. Those days you were not seeing him. He, he was, was doing, doing something. Some yeah. You were not seeing the work he mm. was in. Doesn't mean no work was, was going done. On. Yeah. So it's the same thing. There are times we pull inwards. People don't see us. But we're walking. Yeah. Now, when we come out, we just cover the the amount of gap we will cover. Everybody will wonder what kind of speed is this? But because we're away from the eyes of everybody, mm. physically, physically training ourselves. Based on the word of God. Based on the word. Yeah. So that's why it the journey was so smooth. smooth. And we were like, <laughs> I hope Satan was not waiting for us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, so the we can start talking about the marriage now. So the wedding went well. Everything was smooth to the glory of God. And then we had our full moon experience. Oh, yeah. It actually happened because yes. our wedding was like towards the evening. evening. Yeah, towards an evening and wedding. Yes, yes. Not that we planned it because mm, God said we'll see a full moon. Right? Yes. We just, cause it was a, um, it was in a park. Yeah. So we just felt, look, in the cool of the day, uh -huh. it would be nice. So uh -huh. when we were supposed to start at four, was it two or four? No, three. Three. It was three. Time. Yes. We were talking but about putting you on the watch. Yes. 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 yes I yes, remember. Yes. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> 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 Everything must be part time. So, so it has to be at the watch, three o'clock watch. <laughs> so you were there. I wasn't there. Somehow, somehow. We eventually started and then we now dragged into the evening. You know, remember I had told you when you told me that the Lord said we we're going to have a full moon? I was just like, okay. So I just kept it in my heart. Like somehow I, I just kept it in my heart. You know, like I didn't really like think about it. I just like, okay, let me just, you know, like Mary kept mm -hmm. these words in her heart. And then towards evening, while we we're dancing, because our wedding was it was beautiful. I had made up my mind that was there was nothing that was going to steal my joy. So even when there were some minor challenges, I danced. I that's even let me just let me just let me just chip in a word for the bride. Sometimes you have prepared and done everything. And maybe there's just one thing that did not just go according to your plan. Do not let that thing steal your joy. Do not let it distract the focus of your day. The important thing is for you to have fun. So forget every other thing and have fun. The most important thing yes. is that we have gotten married. married yes, and then <laughs> just enjoy. And, and, and the food is not the wedding. Mm -mm. The decoration is not the wedding. Mm -mm. The attendance is not the wedding. Uh -uh. <laughs> the wedding. <laughs> oh no, yeah. that's the truth. Because sometimes like, this person did not come. This yes. person did not, and yeah. then we now start a quarrel. Oh, oh, like, oh the, the, the supplier of this one did not come on mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. The most mm -hmm. important thing is. Or maybe light failed. The most important thing is, Pastor, we're ready. Exactly. Do you? I do. Uh -huh. In the presence of this witness, <laughs> once that is over, come on now. Nobody's going to go back home and uh -uh. be saying that, ah, the food is not good or the food. No, no. We're saying this generally. Mm -hmm. Keep your mind on, on the, the real, most, important, most thing. important thing. Yeah. Yeah, and then just that takes forgiveness over everything, exactly. Just have fun after that has been done, and then just dance and close your eyes to so all the 
mistakes of some vendors. Don't let it bother you. And you just really enjoy. Dance, I ah. Uh, yeah, like, I, I stood that I was like, hey, this, <laughs> what, have I, what have I what have I got myself into? <laughs> I, I love this. I've known this girl for years. I've not seen this one. <laughs> I was like, oh, what is <laughs> ah, I really danced. Seriously. It was it was a beautiful day for me. It was like a dream come true. You know, because I never want to go to all the details of it, but you know how that something you've been praying for, believing God for, and then it's happening right before your eyes. So I was not going to let anything distract me. I was not going to let, uh, because you know, we've all had a minor um, challenge with light. I just quickly whispered to my bride, like my people that were working with me, you guys just, let's just do one candle thing. Just do that, do that, do that. Everyone was like, why are you so calm? I'm like, I have Jesus, you know, <laughs> and I danced, I danced, I totally enjoyed myself. And then it was in the process of, you know, because we, it was gradually getting into evening. And then I just looked up somewhere and then I saw the moon and it was full. It was so full. And you know, prior to that time, early as of the morning, that's the the dawning of our wedding day i kind of like saw the moon coming out because i i slept in one of my friends houses that and then and then where the bed was you know the 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 i could see the sky yes i could see the moon coming out from there because we we did some stuff together mm -hmm. so it was pretty late i was like you know what i'm just going to stay in your house <laughs> this night i don't want to go to any other place i'm going to stay in your house so what I was, and I, I, I had, um, I, you know, like just basic wedding plans and all, I was just feeling a little tired. So immediately I, I lifted up my eyes early as of that morning and I saw the moon coming out. There was this strength that kind of like surged into me that just restored yeah. my strength completely. <laughs> So when I saw it again the second time that day, I was like, God, I, I don't really know the significance of all these things and all of that, but it ministered to me in a very special and personal way. So it, it also really confirmed to me that mm, God is in this thing. This man of God. <laughs> He's really a man of God. You know, it's not like you're doubting that he's a man of God, but then you know things get to happen. But it's good because so now if he told and, me you that know? the moon is going to be full, that then the moon was full. If he tells you, don't worry, the money will come. You should believe. That the money will come. You should believe. Yes, yes. So certain things happen to to strengthen your faith. Yes, it's certain all things part of happen. The journey. Yes, it's yes. All part of the journey. Yes. So, so we got married. They went for honeymoon. God, God, I mean, went to. We, we went, went to, to that Dubai. Yeah, okay. God yes, did it yes, for us. Did, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Mommy Curry. <laughs> <laughs> you push. You must have people in your life no, that, that will push you beyond your capacity. <laughs> that was. That was. Yes. That was yes. Push. More like when you like the scripture says, when you believe in the Lord your God and in His prophets, you be prosper. You prosper. You be established. Prosper. Yes. So. Thank you, man. I know, <laughs> I know you see this. Thank you so much. That was a great leap of faith, you know, and I totally enjoyed that experience. So we came back and the marriage started. Well, the marriage started when we left, but we continued the journey. <laughs> and then I think we should talk about our first major test. Yeah. Giving birth. Remember that story about the, uh, the doctor saying that I may Charlie not be, is, yes, yeah. I may mean, not be able to take in, or even if I take in, oh, that's, I was going to lose the baby. <laughs> that's. Hmm. I mean, I'm wondering where, which angle, and I'm looking at the time. That <laughs> but let's, let's try. Just, yeah, let's, let's just try. try. Let's start. You took in. Yes. And. Some like two months after the wedding yeah, yeah. yes and then we just realized so three, three months two months yeah two months yeah so i'll never forget that evening <coughs> you were in the kitchen yeah i was watching tv in the parlor in the sitting room and suddenly i was not sleeping i was not i was not sleeping i was not praying suddenly i just saw the screen of the tv i was watching go blank and then i saw my wife on the screen bleeding 
Just a second. Mm. Of course, that was a trance, you know what I mean? So, what's this? I said, Lord, what's going on here? So, I heard the Lord say to me, Tell your wife to take things easy. That's all he said. So, I came to you, I didn't tell you what I saw. Because mm. I, I didn't want to put fear. Yeah, I'm panicked. I didn't yeah. tell you what I saw. So, yeah. I just came to you in the kitchen and I mm. said, Oh, me and them. Mm. And I prayed over you. Then mm. I said, take things. Easy. Mm. And I didn't explain for them. Because that's all I had to take things easy. So yeah. I take things easy. Yeah. <clears throat> the following day, mm -hmm. you went to work. Mm -hmm. And then you called me. While at work. While at work. I said, I don't understand. I am. Bleeding. Yeah. I said, what? <laughs> hmm. So I came all the way. I came immediately mm. and picked you. I went, went to, to the hospital. hospital. And that started a job. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I had missed my period before this time. And then, you know, we, we were happy. Oh, we're going to have a baby. We're so excited about it. And then this day, I went to work. And then, you know, you I just started. actually went to the aerobics. Yeah, work. because I was an instructor. instructor yes, and I was working with children. Yeah. And, you know, it was part of my job, something I had to do. So, so I don't even want to accrue it to that it was because of the aerobics. I just think it, it was just God no, no, you know, being magnified in know, the whole thing. You know, we went to the hospital mm -hmm. and then <coughs> started running scans, tests mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, um, abortion. It's threatened, threatened, threatened abortion. abortion, yes. You know, so what do we do? Oh, the general check mm. is oh, mm. it's because of the fibroid. Yeah, and then we have they said the same what the... thing. Now, now remember, we had shared how uh, we were told. Yes. By, by when she did her first scan, mm. mm. we had those pains, you know? mm. Mm. and then they said, look, because of the position of the fibroids, either it will be difficult to take it, mm. or, or if, if you, you take, take it, it will abort. Now that's what we're told. Yes. And then I talked to the Lord about it. And the Lord says, I Go never ahead. told you yeah. you will have issues giving that. Mm. They now they had when I mean the, the, that doctor had told us that it, it's going to be difficult mm. uh, to take it in. And even if you take in the child, you're gonna lose the baby. The baby's going to abort. Yeah. That's what yeah. Now we prayed and the Lord says, Go ahead. Now, naturally, you feel it's taken care of. Now, you're having a challenge and you're hearing a doctor today, not related, not the same not doctor, the same not hospital. like I told you so kind of hospital, yes. a different hospital yes. altogether. Yes. And they are checking this thing and they say, oh, this is going to be a, a challenge, challenge for you. Yeah. Now, mm. we now listening to them saying all these stories and then they say oh we need to flush immediately, immediately. yes and then we need to they need because to there was a sack but there was no baby yeah. in the sack and yes there was no fetus to, to take out the fibroid the, yeah procedure and do all that yeah. stuff and yeah. all that. And they were just seeing all this. So journey. many things. And you know, when you're, when you're in a, it was a federal medical center, so mm. we had this, these young doc doctors, and they said, let's consult with our superior. Mm. And then they go, and they will go come back, back. Go come back. I remember they were saying all this stuff. And then at some point, I said, you know what? Because while they were saying all these things, I was busy, Lord. What do we do? You know about this yeah. thing. What do you have to say mm. about this? Mm. Now, in the hospital, we had met a friend yeah, family, who had yeah. come to uh, Mr. Corey, yes. who had come to do something in the hospital. And like, oh, this was going on. And so like, oh, we're like, okay, call me. So know, let's just, know, yes. let's just mm. So at some point, I just told myself, like, what are we doing here? <laughs> That's the question I asked myself. What are we doing? We can't do anything except the, the word lord of yes comes. yes and i was just here listening to all these mm. things they are telling and me. they needed us to take a they decision like to take, they no, wanted they, they us want, to do yeah, it they wanted yeah, to, to do it like yeah like no so i said sorry um i can't take a decision now mm. now that's one thing we need to let you know no matter the pressure 
if I don't hear God tell me this is the direction to go, I'll rather hold be quiet. Yes. I'll hold on. Yes. Because he knows about the pressure more mm. than you do. Mm-hmm. So I, I I just walked up to you and says, Let's you know, go. Let's go. <laughs> you say, go to where? I say, let's just go. <laughs> now, now that's another level of trust. Trust. For my, you know. This is my You husband. are the one having this challenge. Mm-hmm. And you're hearing all these doctor's reports. Mm-hmm. And your husband is telling you, let's go. Not to another hospital. Say, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what are you saying? But she just got up. I asked them, I said, listen, if we, I, I asked the, the, the doctors, they mm-hmm. said, if we go back home and make this decision overnight, will we my wife die? They <laughs> <laughs> said, well, you just have to take a quick decision. decision. I said, thank you. Let's, Let's go. go. And then we left. Yeah. And then we go home and we held our hands and prayed. And prayed. I said, Lord, now not oh, my gosh, you can't mm-hmm. no, like, like, Lord. You saw this coming. This is not, this didn't happen by chance. Now, to me, I felt, and this happens to a lot of us. I saw this thing before it happened. Yes. The night before it happened. Mm -hmm. I just saw this thing last night. Is it that I didn't do what I'm supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Is it that I didn't pray enough? Mm -hmm. Or should I have told you what I saw? Yes. Now, because now the physical thing we could have linked to Mm -hmm. it is the fact that I went to do a real thing. So maybe if I had said, look, I saw you bleeding, so Mm -hmm. don't even do anything. Mm -hmm. Now, we didn't have all that knowledge, Mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. So, all those thoughts were going through my mind also that, could you have done something about this? Couldn't you have stopped this? Did you pray enough? Mm. God showed you this thing. You didn't mm. take charge. Mm. All those thoughts were going through my mind. But you see, you've got to learn to cast out all that care. Mm. Because now I can't blame myself. We need, we need, we need to move and you forward. Can't even blame your I wife. can't blame you. I can't say, oh yes, yes. Say, I told you to take this easy. Yes. You went to do aerobic. Yes, hey, yes, yes. Come on, no, no, Because no. the enemy is just waiting I to bring strife and confusion. Don't, don't. Give him no room. No, no, no strife. Room. Yes. No blaming. No blaming. Nothing. Just be still. So we held our hands together mm. and prayed and said, Lord, what should we do now? That's how you cast every care. Yes. What do I do now? Yeah. And the Lord spoke to my heart. He said, mm. call Mr. Okori. Mm. Now we had met him at the hospital. hospital. Now, he's yes. not a medical doctor. Mm-mm. So the Lord just said, call, call Mr. him. What for? I didn't know. Mm-hmm. But that's just what came to my spirit while we prayed. Mm-hmm. And then I called him. I said, this is what he said in the hospital. This was their final decision. Mm. And then he said, I would advise you to seek another opinion. Mm. So I said, I don't know hospital. <laughs> I've never been here. I, I don't know. I, mm-hmm. I, you know, I only go to mm-hmm. hospital visit or to pray for people. <laughs> exactly. I don't know which one is good. And I was I, like that as well. So yeah. we didn't really have much of hospital yeah. experiences. So he um, said, seek another opinion. Yes. I said, where? I don't know. Then he directed us to. Another no, we, 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 we decided to go to the house. We just told him we were going to come to his house. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, we did. Yes. yes. Like, so, yes. Let's yes, just come to the house. Let's yes. just come to the house. We so just yeah, need to get yeah. out of this environment. Exactly. We need it. We need another kind of. It's brief. And then the, we got, the pressure was much. And then we got there. Yeah, we, yes. we said, seek another opinion. And we spoke with his then wife. Then the wife now said, yes. no, I'm going to take you myself. There. Yes, mm-hmm. because apparently she's had experiences with yeah. that hospital and she trusted their opinion as well. So let's go. Yeah. And then we, it was next day we went. It was that same day. That same day. Yes. Yeah, was mm-hmm. day because that was already in the well, we went to their house the next day. Yeah. Then yeah, that, that same, same day, we went to the hospital we to the with the wife. Yes. And for a scan. Yeah. They did yeah. a scan and everything. And they saw the same thing. Yes. But then she the said. Your cancer was different. Your cancer was different. You don't now need to flush. Thing. Yeah. So you don't need to flush. There's just nothing to flush. Just leave it. Yeah. Just wait. Mm. Come after one week. Mm. I said, that sounds more like what's reasonable. Yes, 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 yes. And then. We, that's how we kept visiting the hospital mm. and everything just so we lost the bleeding that pregnancy. stopped yes bleeding eventually stopped. so we lost that pregnancy now here's the point and we close with this yeah. and of course we're going to continue the story on next Monday. week I remember praying to the Lord and saying Lord why would you let this happen and the Lord said something profound to me he said son you guys have not asked me for a child. 
you expect that it's just supposed to be natural. We're married. married. All right, I'll tell you What's the next thing? <laughs> We're supposed to have children. Are we supposed to ask God special for children? Says, we have not asked mm. for a child. Mm. Hmm. So what do we yes, do? God. Then the Lord told, that's why he said, you have to be deliberate about everything. Mm. So he said, ask me to give you a, a child, child whose name is in written. the book of, is written in the, the book, book of, of life. life. What time is it? <laughs> oh, Father, we give you praise. We'll continue this next week. Praise God. God is and, good. And, 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 oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. God is faithful. Now, God is faithful. Now, sincerely, watching this, if you're having issues with childbirth, you're married and you're having issues with childbirth, get ready for a miracle. Mm -hmm. Oh, just get ready for it. You will have your children. Sure. You will. You will have your children. Father, we thank you. Amen. We commit every one of our audience before you. Mm. Lord, they are being set up for a visitation for you. Amen. And let that visitation come to them now. Amen. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Have the best weekend ever. In Jesus' name. Amen. We love you, dear. God bless you. See you on the next.